Hello everybody, give a loser here and I hope you're having a good holidays and uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah and etc. Alright, as the title says, this is a beginner to improver piece. I'm going to play for you right now and then I'll break it down. I'm including tabs in the description and uh, I made this specially for you uh, from your requests. It's only three simple chords but we're going to learn some nice techniques. So let me show what I mean. That's it guys, that's the piece. Uh, I hope you like it. It's not technically very challenging. Uh, you will need some practice on the tremolo technique, which I have included in the description. Uh, a video where you can empower, make it stronger, and you can even learn a quadruple tremolo if you like to use that one to embellish it. Now, you see that I have a capo on the third fret. I don't know why, it just sounds better for me, a little bit higher, a few notes higher. But for the lesson, I will remove the capo in case some of you don't have a capo, so you can practice and learn it. And then you can just put the capo on the third fret like I do, or even a little bit higher. Okay, it depends where you like it, but we will learn it without a capo. Let's get it through a close-up. So uh, the taps are not for the beginning part, it's for the second part where there is melody. <laughs> Sounds different when it's lower, yeah? That's why I had it on the third fret. I think it sounded nicer there. But we will learn it here just in case for my friends, guitar friends, beginners who don't use a capo yet. Because when you're a beginner, why would you need it? Unless if you're combining a little bit singing with it. But still, the capo comes a little bit after the beginner stage. All right, let's get into the close-up. So let's get started. The three chords that we are using, there are two main chords, the A minor. Okay, um, you just put your index finger on the first fret of the second string. On the third string, counting from down up of course, you put your ring finger on the second fret and again on the second fret on the last bass, on the D bass. Alright, that's the fourth string counting from down up. An A minor, it's a very beautiful sound, very um, uh, Spanish feel and then moving up uh, one string higher, all the fingers with the same, same shape. We have this E major chord. No, between 
this we're just gonna use uh, a little bit a D minor that's your middle finger badass finger <laughs> on the third string on the second fret your ring finger or your pinky whatever you prefer so I like to put the ring finger if I'm not gonna use any extra playing like this so I use the ring and uh, that's on the second string on the third fret and on the first string on the first fret now I'm sorry for some of you that are a little bit more advanced and you already know these chords but this is for a beginner also guitarist who maybe doesn't have uh, uh, in his country I, I get a lot of emails and comments that they don't have near them any flamenco teachers and the internet is the only way they can go and when I started 14 years ago, I would be very happy having somebody showing me a piece like this to play it and learn it fast because it's not too difficult, but it still sounds quite nice. Yes, and again, guys, sorry for stopping the teaching. Uh, I just wanted to say sorry for being away for a few months. Uh, some of you heard me say this a thousand times. Uh, my full-time job, I'm in my dance school now at four in the morning. So I'm a dance teacher, this is a hobby, I learn myself, I teach myself and I just share what I learn with the people and uh, you seem to like it, I've been doing it for 10 years now. Uh, so even if I'm away for a few months, I will always come back with something new and please don't forget to like and support and subscribe to this video because that keeps me going. Um, and the good news, I'm very busy with the dance school, so the bad news, that's why I don't make often guitar videos. But anyway, let's get going uh, because this will turn into a vlog. Let's go to the A minor shape and we're going to use, I like to use the thumb and the middle badass finger of the right hand and I'm plugging with the thumb first uh, the fourth, the third and the second string and then the third again. At the same time that I'm plugging, I'm starting on the bass again, I'm plugging with the middle badass finger of the right hand while holding the A minor. Nothing fancy on the left hand, guys. You're going to have so much fun with this. Yes, so you can play this two times or three times and uh, I'm, you see, plugging all the time with the middle finger down. You can use your index or your ring, whatever fits you the best. This one is a little bit heavier and if you notice I have my nails a little bit longer than usual because I'm using the tremolo technique or this kind of techniques that makes it sound better. So if you want to play it for some of you, I've seen you play some of my pieces for competition in your school for talent and stuff and you won with that and I'm very happy for you and I can't wait to see more. Uh, but uh, that's when you want to grow the nails to have a better sound because without these extra nails you're not going to get this bottom string to ring as much as you want it. So back to the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now you put your pinky on the third fret on the first string and continue playing the pattern. I play twice, then I remove my pinky and I flatten my index finger while still pressing on the second and the first string on the first fret. Playing that twice immediately, lifting up so I go back to the A minor without pressing that first string. And I play two more times. That's why I don't include the taps for this one because this is a pattern. Once you put it as a pattern in your head, you can't forget it. You will memorize it and you'll be able to play it by the end of the day or the week. It depends how much you practice. Alright, and then you just simply move one string up and continue. Playing on the same strings, the same thing, but we change the chord so it sounds different. And then after we play twice here, let me just show what we do first with the melody, with the thumb. We play with the pinky on the second string on the third fret, then index on the first fret of the second string again. That's open the second string, third string, first fret, and finishing on the second fret of the third string. So it goes from like that so you break up 
slowly the chord. Now if you continue playing that melody with your thumb and at the same time while you play the last melody, keep plugging that open E string on the bottom. That gives a double sounding effect. Okay, so that was the beginning of it. I hope you guys like it so far. Pause the video of favorite it somewhere or watch it later as they put it on YouTube and practice this and you learn it very fast. Plug the strings like this if you like. Put your favorite series in for 15-20 minutes. And just practice the hell out of this one to get comfortable. And also like that. Alright? Then we move on to the same left hand technique but using a tremble. Uh, a tremble technique I said tremble. Tremble are the three bottom strings, not the bass. And we're using uh, a one, two, three pattern on it. One, two, three, one, two, three, ring, middle, index. And with the thumb, we're doing very similar. Well, it's not very similar, it's exactly the same, but we're using the tremble technique. I'm playing it a little bit slower so you guys can pick it up. Again, after the second time I played this by itself, I put down the pinky and we've got that tremble melody changing. Only one time I go down and up and then I switch to, as we did before, that A minor while pressing barring down the first string as well along with the second string on the first fret. Again, I play it once and I lift straight away. Continue your tremble exercise by moving to that E chord. Automatically a nice new sound. Now, there, what did I just go through? Exactly the same. But we put the tremble. It will take some practice. It took me some practice not doing this. And I was always playing da 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 da, but you want to go and finish right on that note. So, this I see it as a um, number one exercise. If you also check the video again in the description for your tremble technique. Uh, and you grow your nails a little bit more, maybe cut the thumb a little bit shorter so the bass is not so strong and you get a more balanced sound. Uh, I remember I had a question from somebody who had a little bit unbalanced fingers, a little bit, this one was a little bit shorter than the regular hands, I guess. And I just told them to grow your nail a few millimeters on this finger and that's how you can get a balance. Or if you have a weaker ring finger, you can grow the nail a few millimeters more so you get more sound out of it. And when the power does come eventually, you can just file it down like the rest. But anyway, let's continue to the second exercise tremolo. I call them exercises because these are our classical exercises and we just make a beautiful little piece out of it. Again, the A minor with the pinky in with that weird uh, barring of both first and second string and moving up, but we're playing um, six eighth, I think we call it. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm playing on the middle bass, the last bass, that's the fourth string, the third, the second, and going up to the third, up to the fourth, and back on the fifth. Many people could just play like this. sing with this pattern and stuff like that but here we wanted to have that and the tremble tremble sound in between each note but we're not gonna do it as slow as I'm doing it now or as slow as we were doing it on the triple pattern we want to go a little bit faster for this one so we pick up the pace and people don't fall asleep yes I did I did say asleep <laughs> sorry guys Alright, now I play that about two times and 
then on the third one you put down your pinky, you have the same melody on the treble. I play it twice, I think one time it's enough. And then lift up. And that's again why you don't need the taps, it's just remembering patterns. Going to the E major like we did before. And we're gonna finish, big surprise now. tremble and the first way of playing with the two fingers that looks like a crab or claw or something all right so that's the first part and I know you guys can't wait for this part um, one second checking if it's still recording okay I know you guys can't wait for the second part because it sounds more like a rumba flamenca with uh, uh, that melody in between and here is where the taps are going to be included. I'm going to have uh, uh, pattern uh, one, pattern two, pattern three. I think that's about it because the in-betweens are quite easy but that's what I'm going to have on the website. You guys can go and check it out but I think with the video you can pick it up. It's better that you don't read. I prefer that you watch and learn slowly so it stays in your mind. When you read you have to read it 10 times and then look away, read it again, look away. Uh, oh, you forgot something, but when you learn it, lifetime with somebody, like coaching like this, much better. So anyway, we start off with this lovely melody. Now, the melody, the tap, is this is melody number one. So you press down with your index on the first fret of the second string, then open on the first string, you plug that down on the first fret of the first string, open again, second string, third fret, first fret, second string, and then you can start playing your uh, rhythmic pattern. Let's learn that pattern. I have another video in the description where I show uh, about six different ways of playing flamenco rumba, but I chose for this one because a beginner, a more simple one. Okay, so it's simple to play it because we just play thumb down, thumb up. But the little trick to this is to go down and you plug the strings, go slightly up, slightly down, that's right, Mid air and then go up. So you have a little bit more gum, gum, a little delay before you come up and you don't have this. Bum, bum. You have. So you have that little delay. And then you move up with the index up and down. And that's finished. That's the pattern. strumming softly with the side of my skin and when I go up I use most of the nails so I have a more scratchy sound so it's soft down and sharp upwards and that's how you get that little more funky feeling of the rumba it's hard thinking <laughs> hitting an accent upwards but if you practice a little bit regular scala music you'll have a hang to that one too, uh, how to play it. So, here's our first melody. You can play as many times as you like here, but I like to strike down to finish it, or finish the strings, and then repeat the melody. We're going to do it three times. This is the second time. But instead of finishing into a hit, I just, with no hit, Second string on the third fret. Da da da. Up on one on the first fret. That's two frets higher. And you go to the E major. Sometimes now I would uh, because I want the melody to come on top instead of strumming. 
I will pluck the bass and that specific note that I want. In this case, it's the second string of the E chord. That's an open uh, B. Because it makes the melody. Yeah? And then... Now, again, go check this. I would say we already had the melody one. Melody 2. Now this is Melody 3. You can check in the description the tabs. I will have them Melody 1, Melody 2, Melody 3. Quite easy. On the third string, on the third fret. Da -da down one fret. Open second string. Down on the first fret of the second string. Now pluck it open. While it sounds you go down and up. Try not to go only down and up, go down, bend a little bit and release. This is only down and up. Can you hear also the release? So it sounds a little bit better anyway. Back to that second fret on the third string. Up one fret and continue playing the A minor. Now again we do a nice little break. This is the first part of the rumba. The second part of the rumba is where we add the D minor. Now I would suggest don't take this whole lesson uh, full. It's one of the few times that I don't have a break in the video. So uh, in this one, uh, the second time around, we're gonna start playing. This extra thing that I added was just a hammer on pull off as we were playing the first melody more on without an attack now we put a little bit of a hammer on so we get more of an attack now everybody's expecting here to repeat the melody because we did it three times but we actually do something different so this is what makes a melody good when you present it to somebody, they hear it, and then you play it again, but you put something different in it. So here, what did we do? We play, again, this is melody four now, because the previous melody I played, you know it, it's just hammer on in it. I'm not gonna put melody four just because it has an extra hammer on. And melody five will be what transfers us to the D minor chord. Now you saw, I open, close, open, close on the first fret. Down on the third fret, up on the first, and then open again on the first string. Everything happening, I hope you can see. And then on the second string on the third fret, three, one, open. Then I pluck the bass and that second string on the D minor shape because I get the melody along with the first beat of the rhythm. Then Pretty much self-explanatory, it's very similar to, or if not the same melody, we played to connect before on the second string, yeah, and then, now I will explain this on the second, uh, on the A minor shape, on the second string on the first fret, then on the third fret of the second the third, sorry, on the second fret of the third string, and then moving up to the E major, and again I'm plugging the middle bass with the middle tremble string, the second string, to get that melody out, and we finish exactly as the previous melody that we finish. Now here, I don't have to tell you because you already learned it. to let them have in their mind still the rhythm so I play the D minor twice back to the A major so we're suggesting an ending or with the E major and plug down whatever you prefer again this won't be in the tap it's up to you then to finish it off 
use the illusion of finishing, but just before that we play the first, uh, sorry, the second exercise of the only two times with the tremble, the, trim, uh, the triple tremble, tremble. Slow it down to a turtle. Somewhere in the middle. Somewhere in the middle. Why? Because here, too soft, too sharp, just fine. <laughs> okay, so that was the lesson, guys. I hope you like it. Uh, I don't think I left anything behind. Uh, if you have any questions and I can help you with anything, this is my Christmas holiday gift to you. It's been months that I've been away, I know. I'm sorry. Uh, I think you should be happy. Be sad that I can't make more videos as often but be happy when I don't because that means my uh, full-time job as a dancer and as a dance teacher uh, is working great. I'm going to the UK for a week on the 4th and 10th of uh, January and I'll be teaching there five workshops, six workshops I think and doing two shows and uh, I can't wait so that means I will be busy. I don't know if I'll make a little vlog video there and if I take my guitar as well but I doubt it because I have to take two outfits for the show and if you like follow that channel as well where I teach salsa and bachata it's called salsa and bachata moves uh, I'll put a link in the description for that as well follow us on Facebook uh, there's thousands of guitar friends there in the group plus if you like to help and support this channel you can go to my website give any amount of donation or uh, buy my ebook which I teach finger style from beginner complete level to an advanced level 25 different picking patterns and I'm yapping a lot so this is turning out to be a vlog too it's because I've missed you guys and I've got so many things to tell you but seriously have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I'll see you on the next video God bless